to you all. It's the new year and we're back. And strange to think that only a fortnight ago, this very studio was alight with millennium fireworks set off by a cleverly targeted ping pong ball. <laughs> How did Helga do it? Her lips are sealed. But we start, we start our fantastic new year with some brilliant news. Vanessa Feltz has lost four stone on her diet. And she said the great thing about it is her trainer. Hmm, she looked down yesterday and saw one of them. <laughs> it's all just so revealing. <laughs> Everyone up, please. There you go. Burn a calorie yourselves, why don't you? <laughs> all right, stay standing. Stay standing. If you can do something entertaining with a part of your body that we can show on television. <laughs> oh my God, look at me running up here. Uh, right. I'm nervous already. <laughs> All right, what can you do? Um, I can lift my leg up here with my hand. Marvelous, fire ahead, do it. Joel. Joel? Yeah. Joel, well done, Joel. That could lead to dates. Um, <laughs> well, that was very impressive, Joel. A lady standing up here. Hello. What's Hello. your name? Ivy. Ivy, what can you do? I can put my fist in my mouth. Fist in your mouth? <laughs> it's good. It's not a leg over your <laughs> But fire ahead, Ivy. Impress us. <laughs> that was quite good, wasn't it, Joel? <laughs> I tell you, if you could do both of those things, you'd be away. <laughs> uh, I haven't done this before. I haven't done this before, but I know for a fact this woman over here can do a thing with part of her body, so I'm just going to go to her. La 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 you. <laughs> I know for a fact this woman can do an extraordinary thing with her body. What can you do? I've got a double jointed tongue. <laughs> oh, I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, come on. Double joint song. Do it. Watch carefully, don't get ideas. Okay, okay. Steady. <laughs> don't get ideas. No, I really won't. Look <laughs> over her head, we might talk. <laughs> back to this woman. Back to this woman. This better be as good as it sounds. What 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 do you think you can do? I can make a spanner out of my foot. She can make a spanner out of her foot, everybody. <laughs> I don't understand it. What, what's your name? Linda. Linda. Okay, Linda. Um, I get, I've I, got boots and stockings. I know, take them off. <laughs> okay, we'll just chat amongst ourselves for a little while while she, while she removes boots and things. I'll save dignity. Stop that! Get away! Oh, to God, the woman's going to make a spanner out of her foot. There's no need to exploit it by seeing a camera up her skirt. Stop! <laughs> Look at that. The spring colours have arrived already. <laughs> that great. Oh, beat off those winter blues. What are you doing there? Oh, 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 oh! Look at that! Oh my! That's, can you hold the microphone in? Can you, can you? Fantastic! night and there was a time when Friday nights on television meant only one thing to me ah, the sound of saxophones and the New York skyline
excited are we? Oh, did you like a little homage? You are the funniest man. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're having a nice time. Yes, I love the flash here. That's why I wear my glasses. I didn't want to miss a thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, when, when this, this I'm getting series... nervous now. What? Just kidding. Oh, don't. No, because we've had this terrible thing happen, right? Everywhere, everywhere that Sha poor Sharon has gone, right? It, it started at customs. Uh, you tell them, you tell them. Well, I came through customs, and the lady was very nice and recognized me. She said, oh, Miss Gless, welcome back. Are you here to do another play? And I said, no, I'm, I'm going to be doing a talk show this week. She said, really? Which one? And I said, Graham Norton. And she said, oh, you're very brave. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the last three days, yeah, that's yeah. all she's had. I know. So the poor woman arrived here tonight, a wreck. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What's going to happen? Nothing. And he, he was so nice. He knew that I was nervous, so he took me to dinner. I did. And he did. He took me to dinner. As we're walking out of the restaurant, we're getting to the cab, and the man who's opening the door said, oh, You're not doing his show, are you? <laughs> That's true. Right? Three hours of stroking and comforting down the drain. <laughs> I didn't tip. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, the series was incredibly successful. Mm -hmm. It won loads and loads of Emmys. I mean, either you or Tyne always won the Emmy for Best Actress. The six on. years that we were on, one of us always won the Emmy. She always won more than I did, but... Ooh. And no, I, no, it's okay. I told her. I always told her she was my second choice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but you did get some flack for being sort of, you know, pe people judged you because you were blonde and sort mm. of feminine yeah. things. That was, uh, that was the hardest part for me, playing the role, was that I was the blonde. And I sort of had to live, live that down. And of course, <laughs> when you chose not to go blonde, it, <laughs> it didn't really help, <laughs> did it, Sharon? <laughs> oh, my God. Have you heard of our Lamal? <laughs> We played the hookers. No, Honest. no, <laughs> you're kidding. Yeah, <laughs> but now, um, the th odd, famously, I suppose, um, dykes love you, they're just mad about you, aren't they? Well, yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm not speaking out of turn. No, I do, no, no, I do. I have a very large lesbian father, yeah, but, well, bless them. But why are they so, you know what I mean? Because there's trying to get why are they so attracted to. To Cagney. Uh, to Cagney? I don't know. I, I, probably because she was the single one, wasn't married. Um, also, Cagney was the one with the mouth. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll just be very quiet for a while while Penny drops up and down the <laughs> <around. laughs> um, I don't know. Tyne, I think, was the married one. The men would all write Tyne. I never got an email from the men. Really? No. Hmm. Annoying. Yes. Uh, but Cagney and Lacey, it was a very serious show, but it did have comedy moments. Yes. It did. Uh, there's a, a, oh, dear. No, for uh, this, I'd love to know, I mean, you can tell us what, what, was, <laughs> what was going on, how Cagney and Lacey ended up in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. I'm the pineapple. I would guess that. And Tyne is the tomato. Oh, I wasn't sure if she was in a tomato or yet again was Lacey pregnant. <laughs> she was pregnant for about three years, Sharon. <laughs> you know, I, I talked to a, um, a French friend last night and I said, Oh, do you remember uh, Cagney and Lacey? And he went, Oh, Cagney et Lacey. <laughs> that's, that's French for Cagney and okay. Lacey. And, uh, and he, he went, uh, Oh, is that the show about uh, the blonde policewoman and the pregnant policewoman? <laughs> The, the only other thing I need to tell you about France is that apparently, and this could just be my friend making this up, but uh, that they used to refer to it jokingly as, instead of like gagner et laisser, uh -huh. they'd call it uh, cagé et lâché, right? Yes. Which apparently is French for poo and pooing. <laughs> we used to hear. It's I... French humour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we used to gag me and lace me. <laughs> there's a, there's, a, there's a, a porno film out. Uh, 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 a takeoff on, on <laughs> Cagney and Lacey. Oh, please send it to us, someone. <laughs> someone must have it. It's American. Oh, we, 
We have the power. I'm sure. I sent it to Ty, and she was on Broadway at the time, and I sent it to Ty with a note saying, who said we didn't have impact? <laughs> But at times in a, a hit show, a now, huge hit show, a huge hit show. But uh, more than that, more than that, she's in a phone box. We can phone Tyne Daly now. No, seriously, we can. <laughs> so uh, we can do this. Oh my God! Look at your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than some. Uh, 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 I hope she's there. See, this is the first time the Cagney will be reunited on British television since 1988. Maybe. <laughs> Patty, may I help you? Oh, I hope so. Uh, is Tyne Daly there? Yes. Good. <laughs> uh, uh, Can I speak to her, please? Hello, this is she. <gasps> Tyne Daly! <laughs> oh, a very excited audience have just applauded a bit of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're so excited that you're talking to us, Tyne. Well, thank you very much. Is my pal there? <gasps> yes, she is. She's um, right beside me. I'm right here, Tyno. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Tyne. Yes, love. Will you ever forgive me? What have you done now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'll cut the <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm seeing plays and I'm having a good time too. See, the line between television and chatting is now crossed. <laughs> I think I'd better turn you back over to our host. I know. This I'm is Graham Norton. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I'll just on forever if you don't uh, uh, jump in. I know. I love you. Hold on. I love you too. Also, you can tell we're paying for this phone call. Come on, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Do you want recipes? <laughs> Just, just before you go, could you give us a Christine? Well, uh, of course I could. Well, Christine? <laughs> Brilliant! Thank you so much, Ty Daly! Come on! Bye, Bye. She seems so nice. She's wonderful. She really She's is She's wonderful. Nice. She's my dear friend. Now, uh, the people in the audience now, they're thinking that they're thinking, yes, we've chatted about Cagney Lace, we've, we've talked to Ty, When's he going to do something horrible on the internet? <laughs> um, and the truth when? is, no, no, the truth is, the truth is, we thought, no, we can't, we can't treat Miss Glass like that. But we did look, we did look for your name on the, on the internet, right? And it came up in all the usual places, you know, Sharon Glass fan clubs, and mm -hmm. Cagney and Lacey fan clubs, and Rosie O'Neill fan clubs, and all these other places, uh -huh. right? The other place, the other place we found you was on this site. This is a oh bizarre God. place to be finding you. Here he is. He's called Chris Studboy Nicholson. Wait. Can you, can you see this man? Yes. Right. So there's Chris Studboy. There you I swear to God, I don't know him. <laughs> Here's Chris Studboy Nicholson, right? And down here it says uh, biography. And then I like this interests. You think, judging by this picture, I can guess what many of them are. <laughs> yeah. but, but we'll go to it to see if we are right. Da, da, da. And sure enough, some of his favorite bars in Fort Lauderdale, blah, 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 blah. But under film and TV, we find T.J. Hooker and Cagney and Lacey. They're the only television shows he lists in all the things, right? Really? So now, we just thought we'd throw the poor man a bone, and, uh, and probably like that as well, and, uh, <laughs> and call him. Now, I've got the number for him somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yes. This is Chris. So. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> He's not home. Hello. <laughs> but he is. Uh, hello, is that is that Chris Studboy Nicholson? Yes, it is. And um, my name's Graham Norton. Did you get my email? Yes, I did, Graham. <laughs> it was wonderful. You sound jolly. <laughs> um, are you gay? Me? <laughs> You know, Chris, it's depressingly common now. <laughs> it's very 18 months ago. Uh, <laughs> now, are you, are you really a fan of Cagney and Lacey? Uh, I, I love Cagney and Lacey. You're calling me because of Cagney and Lacey? Really? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, the, the 
No, listen, I tell you what, because we, we also say, I mean, you're interested, you are interested in the whole kind of uniformy thing, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I love, I mean, I love tagging your lace to the clothes, the uniforms they had on the show. I mean, Ty Daly's haircut was just wonderful, and I mean, Sharon is always drinking, and I mean, so... I wasn't going to mention it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, listen, much excitement, because uh, we, here, in the studio with me, is... Sharon Gless. Cagney's here. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, no, it is. It really is, Sharon Gless. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm in Fort Lauderdale in Florida, mm -hmm. and I mean, I went out to California, and I sought out, and I had to find the studio that they shot at, and I went over, and it's on a, a little street called Lacey Street. They call it Lacey Street Studio, and it's, it's, and the, the cabinets are still there, and the desk is so, so wonderful. I love it. I couldn't do it. Sorry, you Chris. Um, but uh, so you, you saw you saw all that. That's brilliant. Um, I, I can't believe that you really called me about this. But she's there. This is wonderful. All right. I'll, do, I'll let I'll let Sharon say hello from a distance. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Hi, oh, Chris. Oh, you want to say hello? Sure. Oh, very good. She is brilliant. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon is my mom's name, but it I'm very, very nervous. Oh, well, what a lovely name. It is. <laughs> well, it's so, so nice um, talking to you. I'm glad you like the show. Well, thank you so much. It's so wonderful to get to talk to you. Maybe someday I'll get to meet you. I, I bet so, because I live in your state. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> now, listen, uh, this is long distance, and I'm going to give you back to our host. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Good luck here in everything that you do. Thank you, Chris, and to you too. Thank and to you. you too. Thank you. Oh, you'd be nice. All right. Bye bye now. Bye bye, bye, -bye. Chris. Bye bye. Oh, bye, -bye. Chris. Bye. Okay. Uh, listen, uh, that is it. Join me in part two with the lovely Sharon Glass and hitting the street with my second guests. That's right, guests. Mmm. See you after the break. Thank you. Yeah.